Welcome to Hustle and Flip, where every day is another hustle and every day is another flip. Today, we are going to get some equipment for, I need a light. And I seen one at Best Buy. I'm over here at Walmart right now, fixing to check out, um, fixing to check out a light over here at Walmart. And I'm bringing you along with me. Let's see what we can get into today. But yeah, I'm looking for a ring light. I got a light um, that I used to use um, when I was doing my online store, and I use the light, but it's not a direction. It's a directional light, and it's like I have to put it off to the side, and that it still would leave a shadow like on one side of my head. So it's not really a good camera to use. Um, I need a ring camera so I can put the camera in the middle of the ring and yeah, you know, make the video look a lot better and a lot less shadow. All right, there's some over there. And then there's some right here. That's too many colors. Walmart doesn't have any reception or Wi-Fi, so I gotta go outside because the one that they have here, I don't know if it will connect. It, they, they're only saying that it's for a smartphone, so I might have to go to, um, I may have to go to Target or Best Buy. So I'm gonna go outside and look at a video. All right. We got what we're looking for. But I do gotta make another stop. I have to go over to, I'm um, just gonna go to um, Best Buy because I know they got it. I'm not fixing to keep pity patting around with these stores. God, it took forever to get to the car. This is what I got. That is only the tripod. It's called a core shoe, core shoe or something. So I need that to be able to go. Right. So I, I gotta go to Best Buy to try to find this mount. So I guess we're gonna be headed over there. We're finally here at my favorite place, Best Buy. I love Best Buy. I don't love Best Buy. I don't love it enough to work here, but I love it enough to come here multiple times a week and shop and give them my money. All right, Magnolia Studio. And I'm gonna be in the, in the, on the left. Let's look at some of these. I did come up with a brilliant idea while I was in here, which ain't rare, which is rare for me to come up with a brilliant idea. But I think what I'm gonna have to do is, for the time being, I'm gonna have to, um, I'm just gonna have to get with my camera on my actual, I'm gonna have to get my camera on my actual uh, tripod and just stand the tripod in front of the light and that should give me the 
that should give me the lighting that I need. So, um, I, I don't know why I had to come way to Best Buy to have that bright, that bright idea. But I guess that's why I love Best Buy so much is that I come up with bright ideas in there. A lot of times I come to Best Buy, I don't even really buy anything or find what I'm looking for. But when it comes to it, it, like the stuff, when it comes to electronics, Best Buy has the best, well, in my opinion, Best Buy has the widest variety of things that comes to do, that has to do with um, electronics. When it comes to camera gear, I did see a few cameras. It looks like I'm out to kick out to get me a good vlogging camera, but it, it's worth it because in my opinion, I want to see, I want to see where, like I, I, I need the reverse camera, the reverse monitor because I want to be able to see what I'm, what, what's in my frame. You, you don't really want to shoot a video. I had a camera before that I really couldn't see. I couldn't see the, I couldn't see what I was doing. And I, I got the GoPro 9, the GoPro Hero 9, that's what I'm recording on now. And it has a front facing camera, but after a while it turns off. But I'm pretty much used to this camera. So I, I know, I know where, I know where I'm aiming it at. But sometimes as you guys can see, when I'm out and about and I'm doing stuff, it, it'll be like, I'll be holding it down low. It's a really light camera. And um, I kind of like it because when I'm out in public, people really can't see me. People really, well, they can't they can see that I got a camera in my hand and I'm talking to it, but it's not as bulky as the camera that I'm looking to get. So, I mean, that's gonna be kind of a downside is getting used to carrying that big camera around, recording what I'm doing and getting used to people watching me that's that's really kind of like one of my downfalls at, at 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 vlogging and that's why i kind of don't go in stores a lot is because i'm not really used to and i'm just being honest i'm not really used to being in public but i'm trying to ease out and do it more and more and get used to the people looking and people staring and wondering what you're doing but like they always say you really can't worry about you can't worry about what the other people are are thinking or what they're doing or any of that. You just gotta you just gotta vlog, you know. So I'm trying to get used to that. I'm hopefully I'm getting better. I, I, I'm getting more viewers and more people watching. The more the better I am getting at it, and the more I'm going out into places. I guess people like to see that. So I'm trying to get for you the viewers. I'm trying to get better at vlogging so that my vlogs are more entertaining and you guys get to see more of what I actually get to do um, when I carry you with me. So, on the way to the house, I'm about to set up my camera setup and we're going to see how it looks from there and we're going to go from there, you know? All right, now we're going to try to put it together. Um... Yeah, I don't know how well this is going to go. light set up and I'm fixing to show you how it looks right what's up YouTube welcome back to hustle and flip and today what we're gonna be going over is if the, you are no if you're just starting out flipping cars from the auction if you're just now starting out flipping cars from the dealer's only auction, 
if you wanna wanna watch this video because I'm gonna be going over with you how to find the cars to get into at the lowest price and also at the lowest price and also at the and also how to find the cars that you don't have to put the most money in.